Alright, here's where I'm heading to, Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Hey everybody, Tom Ever Tom's Road Trip and I'm in the Black Hills, South Dakota near Rapid City. And today I'm going to be visiting Mount Rushmore. Being in, being in the Black Hills, I had to come here. Uh, this is kind of a bucket list for me, I wanted to come to Mount Rushmore. I've only seen it in miniature form or like at uh, Legoland. Places like that, so seeing it in person is going to be uh, going to be something for me. So let's go check this place out. All right, we're on the way to Mount Rushmore. There's a little outcropping on the roadway. You can stop. Get a fantastic view. Well, kind of a side view. So just past the parking area, you got restroom locations. Some more information. Got a sculpture of Gutson Borglum. See Rushmore workers, 1927-1941. There are a lot of different names here, but I see several where there are more than one with the same last name. Alright, go. So parking is ten dollars. Definitely worth it though. And you got all of the flags of all the states. There you go, my home state. Florida, 1845, 27th state admitted to the Union. There's the flag of Florida. But I was born in the state of New York. 11th state admitted to the Union in 1788. There we go. Flag of New York. And of course you see all the rocks down below. That's all from the sculpting. And this, when, it, when this was originally envisioned, they were supposed to have the fronts of them See, George Washington is the only one on the left that has, you know, the collar and partially front of his shirt. All the others were supposed to have that, but I'm not sure the reason why it was never completed. So we got George Washington on the left, followed by Thomas Jefferson. Really cool. So on the left side, you got our first president, George Washington. Then you got Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and of course Abraham Lincoln. Several presidents since then have wanted to have their heads added. You see the amphitheater down below. This is how the mountain looked before it was carved into what we know today as Mount Rushmore. So at the lower level inside you got restroom locations. Then you go inside the exhibit hall. The meaning of Mount Rushmore. By George Washington, first inaugural address, April 30th, 1789. It's Thomas Jefferson, Declaration of Independence, July 4th, 1776. Theodore Roosevelt, March 30th, 1912. Abraham Lincoln, Gettysburg Address, November 19th, 1863. Time to trial. And the sculptor. That was him. It was in Borglum. Got the setting. Let's see some of the models.
Mount Rushmore. That's how it was carved. The workers. It's a photograph. There's a full photo. Yep, Mount Rushmore uncarved. That's before any work began. So progress and problems. You see they were from top to bottom. Rushmore since completion. Roots of Rebellion. Protest in Boston. The fighting begins. George Washington, 1732 to 1799. Decisive battles. Declaration of Independence. Peace. The Northwest Ordinance, 1787. Get the Constitution. Thomas Jefferson, 1743 to 1826. Louisiana Purchase, Lewis and Clark Expedition, The War of 1812, Coming of Age 1821, The Slavery Issue, The Trail of Tears, Mexican War 1846, Lincoln Douglas debates. Abraham Lincoln, 1809 to 1865. Got Grant and Lee. North versus South. Got Gettysburg. The Union holds. A clash of cultures. German Antitrust Act of 1890, Theodore Roosevelt 1858-1919, the Spanish-American War, and the end of territorial expansion. is more than a mere symbol of American ideals. It is first and foremost a work of art. Yet the massive sculpture began on a much smaller scale. In the artist's studio, Borglum created a 1 12th scale model that was used as reference for carving the memorial. Today, Many consider the studio model to be as much a masterful work of art as the memorial itself. During the 14-year construction period, Borglum spent most of his creative time adjusting the model to fit the realities of the mountain. Borglum dramatically changed the form and style of the model nine times to allow for cracks and changes in conception. A stone sculptor's greatest challenge is to avoid cutting away too much rock, since once it is removed, 
it is impossible to replace. By constantly reworking his scale model, Borglum was able to test his ideas and manipulate the look of each face before they were actually cut into the mountain. Once Borglum was convinced of his artistic direction, he would measure the model and transfer the dimensions to the mountain using an ancient sculptor's tool called the pointing system. This technique enabled him to take three-dimensional measurements of the model and transfer that exact information to the mountain. A bar connected to a protractor plate was attached to the top of the model's heads. A corresponding large-scale version of the pointing tool was also attached to the mountain top. The bar extended out over the faces and could be rotated to any degree. A weighted plumb line extended down from the bar to the surface of the model. The protractor angle, as well as the position and length of the plumb line, were all recorded. On top of the memorial, the measurements were multiplied times 12, an inch on the model for every foot on the mountain. The plumb line on the mountain was angled and lowered to match the corresponding measurements. Rock was removed until each point on the mountain matched exactly with each point from the model. This process was repeated thousands of times during the creation of the memorial. The pointing system was never exactly perfect, since even small differences can become exaggerated when transferred from the six-foot faces on the model to the 60-foot faces on the mountain. But Borglum's skill and genius as a sculptor allowed him to finesse the stone and bring the faces to light. The results of Borglum's handiwork have earned him world-renowned praise as the man who transformed a mountain into a larger-than-life work of art. You see George Washington. Information on the carving. Thomas Jefferson. Lincoln. Bookstore. A couple different souvenirs you can get. And to get mini building block, Mount Rushmore. Got activity books and puzzles. Of course, educational. We got the unfinished dream.
So if you notice in the model, there's supposed to be more of George Washington's front. You can see just a little bit. And then it was supposed to be Abraham Lincoln's hand. However, if you notice right below Washington, that darker gray is not actually granite. And also, World War II happened, which basically, so this was kind of put on the back burner, but then at that time, funds had run out. So two of the main reasons. Okay, so there are places up here you can get something to eat. That's what they got available. All right, just to the right of the food truck, you get fresh squeezed lemonade you can get for $5. And you get Memorial Team ice cream. Does smell good in here. And just to the left of the ice cream, you got Carver's Marketplace. And this is what they've got available. Specialty coffee and beverages. And you got sides. Alright, we got the gift shop. All sorts of stuff in here. All right, so they do have hats here, but they're 30 bucks. So I'm more than likely going to get a magnet once I see them. But yeah, lots of really nice shirts. So yeah, plenty of clothing. Got name plaques. Get kid sizes of shirts. Get some Mount Rushmore socks. That's cool. Got Mount Rushmore candle holders. There we go. Well, I always see some magnets. There we go. Guess the majority of these magnets are $4.99. There are some that are a little bit higher. I actually like this one right here. It's $4.99. So this can be my memento from the my visit at Mount Rushmore. And they got postcards and lots of books. Well, a lot of jewelry. A couple other things here from you know, South Dakota. Lots of mugs. Got a lot of really nice shirts. But usually the shirts that I wear on my road trips have, you know, animals on them. Mostly wolves, because I love wolves also. Got some pluff. Got some plush. And lots of keychains. We got stickers. We got sweatshirts and jackets. So all sorts of stuff. We got a hoodie and t-shirt combo. Oh, plethora of stuff to choose from. It's interesting, you got Mount Rushmore chocolate rocks. That is $10.99. Wow. So for $10.99, I'll go and eat real rocks. Save my money. You got chocolate bars. You got s'mores bar, dark chocolate, sea salt. Here's a $7.99. This is cool. It's got one of those 3D, 3D images. You get two different images in one. See before, then after. And then you got shop local. Got all the local stuff. 
Got elk and bison jerky. Got venison and elk. It's a, like summer sausage. All right, one last look at Mount Rushmore. All the flags. If you come here and you park your car, don't forget to pay for your parking before heading back to your car. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my visit to Mount Rushmore, learned some information. I tried to show as much as possible. If you are from the United States, you're going to know how important Mount Rushmore is to us. If you're not from the United States, you learn a bit of the United States where I'm from. So leave some comments down below uh, if you're from here and you've been here before maybe or some other type of comments. I go to national monuments and memorials, zoos, aquariums, quirky roadside attractions, theme parks, amusement parks all over the United States. Upload new videos every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're new to my channel, you haven't subscribed yet, check out my channel. I appreciate everybody that's watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.